And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Production Line. Well, as you can see, my factory is a little gutted. Uh, what I did is a bunch of research. I've got all of the special, well, most of the specializations. Some of these, like bumpers and arches, I don't think there's any, I was looking at them, I don't think there's any specific uh, feature that needs those. Um, so all I went through the feature lists and I was looking at all of the different features here. Um, and so I started researching convenience features and I also have the factory expansion done. That was a biggie. Because one of the things I want to do, I want to build the chassis over here. And I want to route them in here. And again, I'm going to have three lines. So each line is going to be a different model of car. And I need to keep the lines separated to the point where I'm not intermixing um, the features between the between all of them. Otherwise, I'm going to get you know dozens and dozens of different models of car, and you know I don't really I don't really want that. So what I'm thinking is coming in here. This is going to be chassis and some initial other construction, and. Then I'll branch out and I'll do, um, I'll come out here and then I'll have a line for engines, uh, most of the body, all the coming down here. And then coming down through here, this is where the last lines will come through. So this is all three lines are going to come through and, and dump into here. Um, so there are some things to consider with this process, uh, mainly time uh, and, you know, employees and all that kind of stuff. So if you look at chassis assemble, this takes eight employees and 25 seconds. Now, uh, if you individualize it, look at this, uh, the seconds. So this is 25 seconds. This is 13. This is four. And this is eight, which is just about exactly 25 seconds now the other thing to keep factor in is employees this one has eight employees so you're paying eight people on this one so I could build this one just like I had before um, and use eight people or I can use two here one here and one here so that's a savings of half of the employees just with chassis assemble now the opposite of that is on body. Body assemble is only two people. But if I separate these out, roof is really not a thing. But look at all these in body assemble. Fit body is only two employees, but 63 seconds. Now the individual seconds, I was kind of you know adding them up in my head. You don't have a whole lot of savings on uh, people. Uh, or, or time rather and people you're using a lot more of on this side so you know it's a give and take chassis I'll save money fit body will be more expensive but I'll be able to individualize all of these and um, give some boosts to production here and there now the other thing is paint uh, this is three employees this is one and this is one so you get a savings of employees and this is 68 seconds, 7, 24, 8, and 28. So, but the other thing is with these individual dry stations, uh, we can upgrade them so they dry faster. So we can get a little bit more productivity out of the dryers by individualizing. And that's kind of why you want to individualize it. Now, engine, this one is a pretty, pretty hefty one. So engine is 55 seconds, six employees. Whereas if you add up all of these, uh, okay. So fit steering wheel, one, two, three, four, six, zero, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's 10 employees. So we're using more employees for fit engine. The other thing with this is uh, engine was laggy because of all of the resources that it needs in different amounts in different in different sizes. So uh, it, it 
it just is a more efficient for engines, especially because of the valves. That that alone gives you all of the benefits. So because we have the res or we have the research done, I can actually expand into this and look at the rent per square meter, ten dollars per square meter, and it's thirty one by fourteen. So that is quite it's gonna be quite expensive. But we'll be able to do our chassis right in here. So the first step obviously is fit axles. And I'm gonna have two of these set up because we're gonna have three lines and I think having two of these will be beneficial. Uh, so we're gonna have, I wanna leave a little bit of space uh, in here for movement. We don't need anything before because this is the first step. So I want two of these, and I want to leave a little bit of space in between them. Just in case we want to start building some of these things. We can make our own axles, and we'll eventually be able to make our own fuel tanks. Although there's a bug in there right now that I've already reported, and it's already fixed for the next version, where that, that make, make fuel tanks already uh, uh, doesn't unlock. The research for it doesn't unlock it, unlocks a different one. So we're, we're not individualizing the axles, so we're just going to fit axles, which is fine. Uh, undercarriage, uh, we're going to just fit undercarriage, and then fuel tank. So there is the entire chassis assembly right there. Uh, so let's get the conveyors connected. Now these are going to come out a little bit because we're going to have three different lines coming off of this for the body. Uh, so let's fit body. Let's look at all of these. Now remember, you want to build these in the order that you see them here. So this is, you want to do fit roll cage first and hood and trunk and bumpers and all these. You want to fit and they want to do them all in order. So let's get to it here. Uh, let's see how big these are. So roll cage, I definitely want to individualize roll cage at least for um, the, the, the line that uh, is going to be the more sporty and feature rich. You know, it's going to be a $45,000 car, but it's going to have, like, all of the bells and whistles on it. And we got to do all the research for that first. So I'm, going to, I'm not going to worry about it right now, but I want to set up, I want to get it ready for that eventuality. Okay, so roll cage. Let's see just how much space all of these are going to take up. Um, if I want to really optimize this, you want to leave a space for your conveyors. So if I put a roll cage here, so fit body, you're looking at about 40 seconds for that. So chassis assemble. So we're going to be able, I'm going to do two every 25 seconds. So I'll be able I think I have enough space in here. This three in here is enough space to put another whole set of chassis assemblers in if I really, really need it. Um, but this is going to get expensive really fast. So uh, there's the roll cage. Let's uh, finish this off. Hood, trunk, uh, bumpers bottom trim, arches, and front vent. So there's the body frame. Now we need the roof and I think the door panels are going to have to go this way. It's going to have to come out a little bit. Uh, this, this is going to be, this is going to get pretty gnarly in here. Um, okay, so 30, 30, 26. 
because the door panels, I wonder how big these all are. So that's a two wide. Windows is one. Wing mirrors is one. Oh, I might be able to actually fit that in here. So a door panel. Ooh, look at how big that is. Door panels. Okay, we're going to do that. Ooh, okay. Now that I know that, we're going to need to space. Oh, no. We got this one here that's sort of tight in tied into that so that's fine so all of these so that's door panels windows and wing mirrors so that is the chassis and body uh, an entire assembly for the chassis and body which is good um, now it's paint and that can go out this direction so paint and again these are all like 20 seconds so dry I might oh see I have to I have to keep them separated if the lines intermix I'm gonna have a really hard time with all of the different all the different uh, accessory packages, which might not be, you know, too bad, but uh, I'd like to have a car get all of them, which is going to be our sport car. So if I want to do all of this again, I want to want a uh, roll cage again. Um, that's four, so the next one. If I put this here, I'll be able to, yeah, I'll be able to fit it if I put it right here. So we're going to take all of these away. So that's roll cage. Uh, hood. Trunk. Bumpers. Bottom trim arches, front vent, roof, the door panels is going to poke out this way one, that's fine, we've, we've accommodated for that, and then that's windows, and then wing mirrors. So there's two lines, now the conveyors, this is going to be a little tricky, because we gotta bring in all of these conveyors. Can't just do like this because it tries to tries to connect each one of these stations. So you gotta do it piecemeal like that. Okay, so we're gonna want one going in here, one going in there. Okay, how do I... Like that. Now we're going to want another one coming out this way. Because we're going to have three of them. So... Do we have enough? So if this one comes out and over, this one will come out and over this way. So this will be like generic line... This will be more sporty, and the other one will be the like the really sporty one. Um, and each will have its own separate system of. Okay, am I doing this right? So this is fit roll cage. So I can actually bump this. If I don't want all three of these. I guess all three of them are right next to one another is fine. So roll cage, hood, trunk, bumpers, bottom trim, arches, front vent, roof, door panels, windows, 
and wing mirrors. Okay. There's three lines. Now, how well this behaves is to be seen. Okay. Let's get all of them in here. Now, if you have a mistake or an error in your line somewhere, a car won't actually travel further if you have a mistake somewhere. So just be aware if you're, if you're running into problems, that's why. Now, all of these can get painted. Um, uh, I might have to route it up and paint this way because paint is going to be a massive, massive area just because of how much time it takes. Because each one of these settings, I mean, you're looking at four to five seconds. There's a nine. There's an eight. So I want to continue these on. So 13 is just about the most. Uh, five, four, three. So... 18 seconds for the chassis and I could I could actually do three so that's that's a non-issue so drying is really going to take some time um, and I don't want to really run out of money so um, engine I'm going to take that one away forgot about the engine we haven't even we haven't done engine yet okay so these stockpiles I would like, so resource importer, I want one there. I think there was one on this side. That's an export, so I'll, this one over here. These are actually pretty expensive, 52,000 for each one of these. So that one's gonna go, that one's gonna go, and I can't actually do, I could do one here. Okay, so resource importer right there. That will help. Uh, conveyor, I need to route that way then. Uh, I could use this re uh, resource importer too, but I need some I need some left over uh, for um, I need some left over for paint. So I think I'm going to optimize this a little bit more. And we're going to convey this stuff. Okay, why? There we go. There we go. Now I can do another resource importer. Really? I can't do one right there? There we go. Okay. So resource importer is good. Now we need to connect all these stockpiles, trying not to mess up. Oh no, not I didn't want conveyors. I wanted resource conveyors. Actually, and if you want to get rid of the resource conveyors on the top without getting rid of anything else, hold shift and shift will do it for you. Uh, unless there's nothing underneath and then it gets rid of everything. So, okay. So I actually want to take this out one and then over. So that takes care of the chassis assembler on this side. And this one can come out. And across, it's like that. So now those are connected, and now it is just a matter of connecting all of these up. So this one, that one, this one. 
I think that'll do for this set. And then I need to carry this to the second one. I want to try to keep these segregated a little bit. Just because I don't want any one resource importer to be overwhelmed. Okay, so this one I think I'm going to have to share uh, right here. Right over here. Then that one's taken care of, but I need to connect that one, this one, those, and I think I think that's all. It's like that. Okay, now I need all of these. So, starting right here. All of these coming down. Now remember, this game is in early early stages, so uh, just be aware of that. He is, do, you know, the developer is updating this game very regularly. I'm gonna take care of that and that. Move that there. So this whole line down here. Oops. We'll come down and connect with this one. So this, those two need one, that needs one, those two, and that one. So that takes care of all those. So this res resource importer here is dedicated to this middle line here. So one of the lessons that I learned in my last or my very first only, only playthrough off camera when I was kind of practicing getting the hang of some of the best practices that you want to adhere to. And that's where I learned, okay, we really need some uh, specialized importers here. So now they're all individualized. Everything is good. And if I add, if I end up having to add a third in here, I'll use this resource importer because this is way plenty for supporting more. But I wanted to make sure that I had plenty of throughput here. So now it's, now we need to paint dry and do the accessories and the engine. And I am not sure if I have enough money to actually uh, actually do that uh, efficiently. So I might have to start these lines up and let them run for a little bit. Because remember, when it stocks up all the stuff that's in here, it's going to drain my money really fast. So I want to be able to produce some vehicles and get them into the system before I really go crazy with um, with the system here. So let's do just that and kind of take into account that we're not individualizing these yet. So I think conveyor we're just going to take this one out like that and then we're going to bring them in to be painted and this is 68 seconds ouch so I want to paint it's a little too far um, paint one, two, three, dry, dry. 
actually I only need two of those but I need dry three of those and then we're gonna do paint paint dry 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 now was that was expensive I admit that was pretty expensive okay so this goes into dry make sure that goes into dry and that goes into dry and this goes to paint 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 and paint and then dry 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 there and no route to stockpile so we need a resource importer and conveyors this is why I wanted to get this line up and running so we can make a little bit of money there there's the resource importer um, so now it's engines and I really don't have enough money to justify a whole lot of specialization when it comes to engines so I need to earn some money here so we are gonna put engines do I already have so I already have accessories quality check I'm gonna just rebuild um, the engine that I have here and uh, right here and hopefully hopefully I'll have enough to actually stock everything like that okay no route to stockpile. Yeah, I removed those, so let me put those back. Okay, let's start it up and watch my money disappear. And there it goes. So I might have to start selling. It's gonna it's gonna go fast as everything gets stocked up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna close off this line here, close off those resources, uh, close off that resource. So I'll just have two lines going right now, and then we will research faster resource imports and stuff soon as we have the money. So we're going right in here. We're gonna start this process. And we're going to need some more resources. Probably this one is getting some. Yeah. So, okay. Paint has all resources. Uh, this line I've shut down for now. I can sell these components for getting a little bit of money back. It's like 50%. But these are all now processing cars, which is what we want. So, well, I'm going to let this run for a little bit. And we'll come back next episode, hopefully... The little extra cash that we'll be able to run. So that'll do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.